All right, it is Tuesday morning. We're at Animal Care Hospital Long Beach, and this cute little uh, gophers polyphemus is from Wild at Heart. They've actually had it in there for a while. Um, I have visited this turtle probably several dozen times every time I go because I'm always worried that this very cool species has always been stuck in a cage because of that leg. Um, in the wild, it would not be able to burrow or actually hold on to the female. So with that in mind, I've uh, kind of made this guy a personal project. Um, I've uh, discussed this with the Wildlife Center on half a dozen occasions, trying to get this guy the possibility of, an, of a, a prosthesis. But when it comes down to stripping, you know, strapping one of these onto a turtle, it's not going to be easy. And you got to be one of those things you do and take off and on daily. So with that in mind, it's not been a good case. As of recently with Spike's case, we were able to put in an intraosseous prosthesis into uh, into the bone. And according to if all goes well and this actually works, we'll be able to put this guy out in a controlled environment where we can monitor where the prosthesis goes to the skin for secondary infections and so forth. And we can build him a foot which will allow him to dig and burrow and make his own uh, make his own place. And when the time comes, uh, even uh, use that leg or that foot to grab hold to his next girlfriend and be able to uh, then continue the species. So, in some areas, these guys are, well, they were endangered. Um, now, in several areas, they're threatened. But here in Mississippi, they are very protected. So, we take these guys very seriously. So, it'll be kind of neat to see that kind of technology that we uh, uh, devised for Spike to uh, go that one step further and help out a protected species and, and further, you know, further all that stuff. So, anyway, this is really kind of cool. This is going to be an awesome case. Um, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera off and we we're going to start getting some x-rays in just a few. According to his case, he was actually working very well. Um, unfortunately, we, we had a mishap, but, uh, <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to make up for the mishap. Um, at first, I wasn't sure I was going to go ahead and redo it, but it turns out the common consensus or the general consensus on the internet, as well as those friends of mine who uh, are familiar with the case, they all say, do it again, the turtle needs a leg. So, Spike is now going to be uh, uh, checked up today and make sure that his leg is healing enough to where we can actually put another one in there, or at least just to work up and we'll see where he's at. And hopefully come springtime if all goes well, if not before, we'll be giving him his artificial foot. All right, so with that technology in mind, okay, now that we know that it will work, we have this leg next. So we're about to get some x-rays, um, sedate this one and work it up, or actually we might have to sedate this guy because um, he's actually holding it perfectly right now for some decent x-rays. But Spike, we're going to have to sedate him. <laughs> so anyway, that's what it looks like for now. If all goes well... All right, it is Tuesday morning. We're at Animal Care Hospital Long Beach. And this cute little uh, gophers polyphemus is from Wild at Heart. They've actually had it in there for a while. Um, I have visited this turtle probably several dozen times every time I go because I'm always worried that this very cool species has always been stuck in a cage because of that leg. Um, in the wild, it would not be able to burrow or actually hold on to the female. So with that in mind, I've uh, kind of made this guy a personal project. Um, I have uh, discussed this with the Wildlife Center on half a dozen occasions, trying to get this guy the possibility of, an, of a, a prosthesis, but when it comes down to stripping, you know, strapping one of these onto a turtle, it's not going to be easy, and you got to be one of those things you do and take off and on daily, so with that in mind, it's not been a good case. As of recently, with Spike's case, we were able to put in an intraosseous prosthesis into, uh, into the bone, and according to his case.
He doesn't want to go home. It's cold there. And he's got dun 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 attack frogs guarding him 24 7. And three other turtles. Yeah, another turtles. But remember, you must get past the attack frogs. Missy, please don't take me back. Please. I, I just, it's so warm here. Soaking up the rays. E eating on the fruit. And, and protected by the frogs. Yeah. Most awesome protection in the world. Okay. Please. Don't take me back. I'm enjoying it. It's good here. It's good. It's awesomeness. <laughs> Tell the doctor to go see a veteran alien. His nose is one in. Oh, look. He's got his own toilet. <laughs>